back to West Texas View. Okay, we, just before the break, we promised you that when we came back, we were going to talk all about the new Midland Center. So give us all the information we need, Brad. We're really excited. Uh, I've been at Midland Center for about four years. We've gone through various incarnations. Back in 2012, we looked at a renovation of the current building. Then, as everybody knows, that little uh, project called Energy Tower uh, came about, and we were going to be part of that. Once that died, though, we got back with our architects, we got back with City Council, and really started planning and looking at things a little bit differently. What can we do? What's the most cost-effective, uh, best use of the monies? Is it to renovate a 35-year-old building that was really built almost as a temporary facility to see if meet, people would come to downtown Midland to meet? Well, that's been a huge success. Mm -hmm. We average 350 events per year, and a lot of those are conventions that have multiple days. So event days, we're about 450 event days. So we've got a small staff, that's, they're great. They stay busy, they make me look good, they make Bobby look good. Um, it's not unusual, we stay so busy that we'll finish an event at 11 or 12 at night. We'll spend four or five hours through the night getting it ready for an event to come in the next morning. Uh, and that's, that's a great problem mm -hmm. to have. Yeah. The big problem we've run into is so many events, they'll call and ask, how, we want to come to Midland, we want to be downtown, we need at least 20,000 square feet of meeting space. Mm -hmm. Well, the current exhibit hall has 12,500. Mm -hmm. So we've turned away a lot of business. Working with the CVB in the past three years, we're probably averaging a million and a half dollars in revenue that we lose every year. That you just had to that we've knock had to say, off the Sorry. table. <laughs> and especially events that outgrow us and go to another city, that's mm -hmm. a lot of money mm -hmm. if you can ever get them to come mm -hmm. back. So we want to be able to have that facility. What we're looking toward is going high end. That it, we're going to add convention back into the name, so it'll be the Midland Convention Center. We are planning to do a naming rights uh, for businesses uh -huh. out there uh -huh. sometime probably in the summer. So it'll be a branded XYZ uh -huh. Company Midland Convention Center. Uh -huh. Um, our architects, uh, Rotenberry Wellen, that we're working with, uh, worked on the Wagner Noel. So I always tell people, you know, if you want to kind of see the direction we're going, go out and look at the Wagner Noel because that's uh -huh. just a—it's a beautiful facility, uh -huh. um, and we're just excited about. So the now, changes. what will you do with the old facilities? Uh, we're, it's going to be built on the current site. So okay. the plan is that we will tear down our current building. We are looking at the options. Council is evaluating whether we're going to purchase the Chamber of Commerce because we're managed by the Chamber of Commerce. If you look from the outside, it looks like it's one building, but there is a set, they are two separate buildings, uh -huh. the Chamber uh, uh -huh. on the north end and then the Midland Center. So it looks like our planning is leading toward that we'll purchase the Chamber building from them, tear both buildings down, and rebuild on that whole half block. Uh -huh. The advantages to that is it gives us a design that allows for better entrances, There'll be an entrance uh, that'll actually be a covered entrance where you can drop off a wall uh, and off Texas. The plans for the new building is the current alley. That will be part of the new building. There will no longer be an alley. Uh, drop off and load in will be off Main Street. Uh, we're going to have a corridor down the middle of the building because the city council really wants to turn Main Street uh, beside the loft apartments into a festival street because as Midland grows, the ability to close off Wall Street or close off Texas with a new hotel is going to be more difficult. So we're designing our building to kind of match this overall. You know, the new design uh -huh. of Centennial Plaza, we're working with the So architects. you've got this master plan that yes, includes absolutely. The, really the whole downtown. If you really think about it, the current courthouse is now being torn down. Uh -huh. if, they, if we change and replace the Midland Center with a new Midland Center, the Midland Lofts are brand new right across the street. They're building a new municipal court house, uh -huh. very, very close. There's multiple projects going on. As Brad uh, explained, change of the face of downtown Midland will significantly change mm -hmm. in the next four or five years. And change is good if it's managed change. That's right. And it should be very well. you've got the whole picture. And, yeah. and right now they're thinking through it very well and mm -hmm. the council is very serious about mm -hmm. it. So uh, if we've got the courage to move ahead, we'll be yeah. all right. And that's, the, that's what stops a lot of communities. It does. Is that the fear, the fear mm -hmm. factor. But the thing that puzzles me is what are you going to do with the conventions and conferences in the meantime while you're building? And that's, that's the difficult question. We looked at options of trying to have a temporary facility, but we couldn't come up with anything that was less than a million and a half to two million a year. And it would really be substandard for what we're used mm -hmm. to. We're working with the CVB and our clients to tell them here are the other venues in the area that we recommend. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're setting ourselves up as a vendor. 
-hmm. So if an event decides that they go out to the Horseshoe or maybe they go to the Grand Texan, which has done some uh, in the middle of some renovations right now, really getting it up to speed. If they need staging, if they need lighting, if they need AV, mm -hmm. then the Midland Center staff will provide that. We'll cooperate. And that allows us to keep that contact with our clients because yeah. for us it's all about relations. I mean, our tag is, you know, uh, your partner for a successful event. Uh -huh. We really do look at that relationship with our clients as partners. Um, and, and the repeat business we get, like groups like the CO2 conference that we had in December. I mean, it's the international conference for fracking. Uh, used to, they did two days in Houston and moved the last two days to Midland. About three years ago, they decided we wanted all in one city, and this is where CO2 technology is at. So we got the, I think uh, we had to work with CVB because we had about two months to figure out hotel rooms for a few hundred people. Um, so when the oil economy's up and you're trying to find hotel rooms, that became a challenge. Oh, so that's where that partnership and the umbrella. Yeah really comes in uh, handy. But one of the things you have to do is constantly be monitoring the number of hotel rooms and the, the census of, mm -hmm. of the present uh, hotel rooms so you can be working with hotel chains to build new hotels when, when there's a need. And we've seen such a growth in hotels the last you know three or four years yeah, it's, it's been, been remarkable tremendous. and now Midland is in perfect shape to host a lot yeah. of conventions get the new Midland Center, we're, uh -huh. we're going to be in a very, very good position a few years from now if we'll just keep moving. Yeah, but talk to us about this this new building now. What all facilities will it have inside? You've, you've talked about how it fits within the, the core okay. uh, footprint, but inside it will have how many meeting rooms, what size auditoriums, and how many okay. auditoriums? Like our current exhibit hall is 12,500 mm -hmm. square feet and it can be divided into three large rooms. The uh, new exhibit hall will be 20,000 square feet that can be divided into five uh, areas. Uh -huh. We're also planning to have an almost 6,000 square foot ballroom. And this is if we do the chamber, if we buy the chamber building where the chamber is, that's the ballroom. But you'll be able to open up a whole wall of the ballroom and it will flow right out onto right the plaza because uh -huh. we want that indoor outdoor uh -huh. meeting space. Oh, we've got more to talk about <laughs> on this. So join us in just a minute and we'll continue this conversation. Stay tuned. West Texas View will be right back.